64 Jet Joker, a walk IF, 090 IQLO, 64 Jet Joker. The mind's a powerful thing and once you see yourself do it then it's easier once you're on the field. You can have a full game in your head before you even play and I think it really calms me down and helps me perform. Whether it's on the gridiron or off, Luke Falk always has his eyes downfield. The redshirt junior quarterback uses the art of visualization to see his own success before it even happens. I think visualizing is just getting it down in your head. It's, I think it's mental reps. You know, it's almost like a practice for me to find a nice, comfortable spot, pop the headphones in, and really just start mentally preparing myself of what I'm going to see, you know, the different plays, the different looks that we're going to be in, and, and uh, really just get ready for the game. From a young age, Falk had a vision of becoming a Division I college quarterback, but the path to get there did not play out as he imagined. Coming out of high school, Washington State was one of the few programs to offer Falk a chance, but only as a walk-on. They said that they'd give me an equal opportunity to compete, and you know, I just decided to go with it. For the day he came to our place, he worked incredibly hard watches more film perhaps than any uh, player that I've coached. You could tell he just had a little edge to him and he was a he was gonna work hard from the day he got there and uh, he had something to prove. All these guys are lifting, all these guys are running and with Luke what's impressive is what's between his ears, how he handles himself, how he works, how he dedicates himself to what he does. Well first I wanted to get a scholarship you know that was probably my main goal and the next one was to be a starter and then you meet the goal you know when you want to set new goals to outreach it. Falk eventually earned a scholarship and then set his sights on becoming the Cougars' starting quarterback. But reaching that goal also didn't play out as Falk had imagined when the incumbent quarterback, Connor Holliday, unexpectedly went down. Holliday is down and he is in considerable pain. You know, that first time I played, I never wanted to see a guy get hurt or anything to get kind of thrusted into playing at all. You know, it's not exactly how you envisioned it, but, uh, you know, you just got to make the most of your opportunities. Falk is back, looking for more, throws over the middle. This is going to be a touchdown, Washington State. And the Cougs have some life here. Angling a pass to the near pylon, caught, and a touchdown. After the game, I'm like, holy cow, I just played USC. Now we got our butts kicked, but I think it really helped me a lot to just be calm and stay in the moment. Now firmly established as the Cougars' starting quarterback, Falk had a new goal heading into 2015, simply win. Pac-12 football at Austin Stadium this afternoon. The Ducks and the Cougars renew their rivalry. That whole offseason, I was just picturing playing in Austin. There was a certain point in that Oregon game, you know, we started off good and then something just clicked. 13 seconds. Fuck to Craycraft. They stopped the clock to move the chains. When he says something in the huddle, he commands everybody's attention because they know what he's put into it to say those sort of things. Coach Leach is awesome in this situation. Like, what do you want to run here? Like, just score. There's the fade. Williams. Got it! Touchdown Cougars! Washington State has come to Eugene and shot the Ducks. After the victory over Oregon, Falk led the Cougars to their best season in more than a decade. But if you think realizing all those achievements has changed the young quarterback, you'd be sorely mistaken. I don't really care about any of the, the hype or anything like that. I just love the, the camaraderie and everything and going into battle and all that other stuff. I think that's for other people, but I really just enjoy playing the game.